subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Dad and I are testing out some of our safety gear. All right, so this one, this one uh, I think is some sort of recovery unit. It's on the side rail. So, <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> it's so heavy, we can let it sink. Oh sort my gosh, if this thing is lying half, on rescuing half. me. Is <laughs> that a rescue unit? <laughs> Sort of half, uh, I suppose you could always. It would sink, it's got weights in it. Well, as long as you got to this piece first. Oh no, just, just blew a hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dodgy. Okay, our first sign of recovery is, uh, yeah, no, we just guys, faded. You guys don't have much hope. Sprung a leak, guys. <laughs> Can we get another one? That's we quite cool. To, we didn't have to swim if we had one. It's a one person one. <laughs> I don't know where everyone else is going. No, this is like if someone falls overboard. Oh no, quick, you got about two minutes, she's going down. Oh, you throw that to someone who falls overboard? Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. I know, this is, yeah, we need another but it's. One. It's uh maybe don't throw that one because that one wouldn't have helped you. <laughs> but that's not a bad idea, that's just if you've gone overboard, it, you chuck See, that. Remember Taj and I were like, so we just have to wait and swim with our little life jacket on? Yeah. What about so see, this thing? You see this. That thing's awesome. Obviously it's, it's all uh, stuffed. It's got holes in it. But in a stay, that would have been a great little thing. It's got the high vis. So all this, I pretty much think you throw it, and it goes ch -ch. This one inflates, that one inflates. You can see where the person is, and the person can pull their toes up so they don't get bitten off by the sharks. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. We need a new one. <laughs> that is a good idea. I thought it was going to be a life raft. A oh, life jacket. It's a life jacket. Oh. <laughs> it goes out of date. It's so cold. Is it staying afloat? That one's actually I want to save just you, holding pressure. Maybe, maybe everything else failed. You might have a jacket. If it's attached to that, you'd just see like sinking. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Anyway, um, can we get a new one, please? Disaster at sea. We didn't get saved by this one. <laughs> It's a cool little box. That is really cool. If we could find a, a newer version. Now those, they it. just have a uh, AIS beacon on you, an yeah. e-burb so and a self-inflating jacket. to wait in the water? I don't want to wait in the water. I want that. Let's <laughs> <laughs> so fall overboard, baby. So what are you doing there today? All right, so we're, we're removing this. We're putting it in the back lazarette. Um, oh, is that a good idea, Captain? Oh, I don't know. We've got the autopilot going. We've got a new high field tender. So we want the high field up here. And this is going to go in our lazarette. Just in case we get hit by lightning or something happens, we've got a backup autopilot. We haven't used it yet, but it's pretty self-explanatory. We've got all the components, all the lines. It all works. So we're going to put it away as neatly as we can. So it's there if we need it. But for the moment, we need the space. We need the davits work because we use the davits every day. The tender's our car. We're not crossing so an ocean just we're yet. We're not crossing an ocean yet. We're going to be Cortez in it for a little while until we get to learn this baby. This should come out. It's really self-explanatory. So, if I put these together with just like a few mil, 
like that. If we go like that, just leave a couple of mil bell. Then we go like that. That, go like that. What do you mean? When you put it back together, you think the tape lines up. Oh, that's probably not a bad idea too. I could put a line on it. I could, um, I don't even think of that. So I could go like that. And then we'll put a little line through so we know roughly where that goes. Yeah, when you're just trying to figure out which ones which, these could be slightly different or slightly, just don't know. Things usually go back to wet together the way they come apart. A little bit easier, I'm guessing. One, two, three, four. That'll be one. Such a simple bit of gear, this. Hey, I've been over it and I was like, I really like it. Like, I just see the, the simplicity of it, but just, I love our davits. I love having davits. It outweighs the ocean crossings for now anyway. We'll put it back on when we cross an ocean. Yeah. Will we? We'll see. I think we will. Yeah, I think it'd be... Smart. I think it'd be smart too. Yeah. Save power, save room. I'll just see if it comes off. You can tidy that one up when we put it in the bottom of the boat. Ready? Let's give it a little wiggle. It's tough, is it? <laughs> Nothing's holding it, yeah? You're worried about it falling off. Is it not? No, I'll hold it, you find a rack. After it was dismantled, we put it away in the locker for when we do our next ocean crossing. Well, look at the back now. We can put our name on there. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. Awesome <gasps> SIM cards! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is so good. This we is so good. Need SIM cards and 400 gigs. Oh, no one. We don't know who it's from. We do. I think it's from Mike. From Mike? Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh yeah, we got three of those the other day. That's the the last one. This is yeah. the last one. I don't know what it is. Power circuit breaker. Series circuit breaker. Who's this from? This is from Ron Roth. Thank you. I'm guessing that's the display screen, is it? <gasps> oh, the Victron. This is a Victron. Is it the Victron display? This is like Dad's favorite part. Oh, should I peel this? Hey, thing Dad. Off? The no. most, the most do it. No. The most satisfying part about having screens. No, no, no. Feel it. Feel it. No, let Daddy. I'm so excited about this. This is like you one of his favorite door, parts for the Victron gear because. So neat and sensitive. You got your Victron display. Look, you got your display. So much to Mike and everyone else who has contributed. We appreciate it so much. Thank you. We had some good news this morning. Leah has done something very exciting. 
the crack in that fuse holder. So what that does, doesn't seem like much, and you don't even know it's there when it was like in its position. Right there is a small crack, and it's not giving the contacts enough pressure to hold onto the fuse. So what has happened, he probably wasn't even aware of it, or that just broke over time, because uh, it's under constant pressure holding the fuse, and it's made for a loose contact, and actually melted the housing and a little bit, or the old fuse, whatever. If, if something doesn't have a good contact, it may have been arcing. It's not much, I can pack that out. It just wasn't holding the fuse properly. And our two wires here, which are negative positive, they're actually not negative positive. Well, something super exciting happened today. Lee was troubleshooting the autopilot and he got it working! <laughs> it's very exciting. It's a very exciting day. He is so clever. And a little shout out to Matthew of Nalakai. You helped. Um, you help him spark his brain this morning, so thank you. Um, he's going to explain everything about it all, but it's so exciting! <laughs> How excited are you? I'm pretty excited. Pretty pumped. Um, pretty pumped, everyone. Yeah, I, it's like, like Sarah said, I'll explain, but there's, it's not a real simple explanation, this one. It was quite a... Uh, what an interesting little task. <laughs> Let's just say wires were back to front. Uh, fuses were blowing. This was all just an absolute mess of everything had been pulled apart. Okay, it's great now. Well, we had a, I think the original culprit was this fuse holder. It's got a slight crack in the plastic which didn't allow the clamp uh, the fuse properly so it arced and melted the previous fuse the previous owner thought it was the wires were around the wrong way so he changed the polarity of the motor the hydraulic motor which actually runs in forward and reverse but the polarity is governed by how the pipes are connected so in this case he would put it around the wrong way so Matthew informed me of that I said I turned the autopilot on after I figured it all out and I said, it just runs to one side. And he said, oh, you got the wires around the wrong way. And then I put the wires around the right way. And yeah, and I vague, and when he said that, I was reading notes from the previous owner and I read something somewhere that said, uh, previous owner has wired up the autopilot around the wrong way. And I thought, well, how could it have worked for so long if it was that? But I didn't think any more of it until Matt said today when I was, troubleshooting um, that yes the polarity check that and I did and it was around the wrong way and I get it like red black negative positive but it's irrelevant um, the motor runs both ways being a hydraulic pump and um, yeah it's governed like I said it's governed by the way the plumbing's done really uh, anyway it's working and uh, got autopilot wind vane uh, wind instrument depth the only other thing we've got to do now is chart plotter on and we should have a basic setup until at a later date we can upgrade the whole lot but for now uh, at least it, we're going to have it all working that's the main thing and this is the next little one i've got to play with do this here guys again this has been chopped all through the boat these hoses these units are in or under all of our beds in the boat uh, they vent out into our bedroom and what it is is a diesel heater and it runs hot water through here and then we've got a fan that blows out hot air into our room it's not going to be really hot but it's going to be enough to just make the boat nice and cozy again i've got a troubleshoot there's wires and everything cut everywhere to that system um, i haven't even put my head into it and i'm not going to until we're out of the marina but it definitely will work. I've done a few little tests on it. And um, yeah, that's gonna be a cool little system. It's a diesel heater. So that's in the engine bay. I'm gonna to have to move that out of the road while we get our electronics ready for space for our Victron gear. But when I get time, we're gonna plumb that up. Be nice to have on now, to be honest, because it's getting <laughs> so it's cold, cold here. It's cold. 
that's it guys uh we've got a 20 thulids today was day 23 before we leave the marina so we've got 22 days tomorrow good news we've got an autopilot so we are one step closer to being able to get to mexico and um yes exciting we had a win <laughs> okay babe but what are you doing this morning um morning guys it's a windy cold really really windy morning the actual the boat's healing over this i don't think we've had that much wind in the marina here so it's a good time just to do a little couple of uh little inside boat jobs uh one of the jobs i've done i nearly threw this out big thank you to doug and meg um they donated us a raymarine exium they updated theirs to the plus and we've got their exium i think just straight exium Anyway, we now have a chart plotter. I've got the autopilot going, wind instruments, depth, we're good to go. Um, thanks guys, again, and um, I'm gonna mount this inside here. That'll swivel out. Job done for now, that's off the dock. It's a rainy and windy day here in San Diego, but I think it's an exciting day. We just got, mum and dad just got back, and I think there's packages, and I think these packages are our new batteries, our new lithium batteries, which is so exciting. But it's wet and rainy and cold today. Wild day here in San Diego. It's the worst weather we've had the whole time we've been here. But uh, it's the day that is very exciting because our batteries have arrived. It's raining, man. <laughs> To get our parcels halfway in, we have to go all the way in because <laughs> she's all wet under this cover too. It's pretty much just the sunshade, yeah. it's not really. I'm out of time, which is funny, but I would have loved to have got a cover at least for this, but we're just gonna have to go to where it's sunny so we don't get rained on. <laughs> all right, you ready, cars? <laughs> We're gonna be needing these. Run some cable holes. Ah, thank you, Roger. 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 Roger, the legend. Legend, mate. Thanks, Roger, mate. Appreciate it very, very much. <laughs> Since we got on the boat, we have been needing to replace our batteries and we finally, the day has come, 22 days until we leave and we have finally got lithium batteries. We're so excited. We have power on the boat. Ta Le Taj and Lee put up and Bella put up solar panels. All right, guys, thank you to Dakota. We have four 200 amp hours of lithium, ladies and gentlemen. Catalpa one, we had lead acids, so. I think we had about 600, uh, 660 amp hours of batteries on Catalpa 1, which weren't actually all usable. Being lead acid, you don't really want to drop them below 50% too much. And that would have left us with 330 amp hours of battery. So we've got 800 of usable. Catalpa 1's solar array was around 520 watts this over the last week we've just set up and we've got near 2000 watts of solar so 2000 watts of solar to keep our 800 amp hours of dakota lithium batteries i think we're going to do all right we're going to run you through the whole process but for now i'm not going to <laughs> <laughs> because it's raining and i've got other things to do before we get to this project but anyway, in a nutshell, we're just going to be using the Victron componentry along with our Dakota 200 amp hour lithiums. Guys, don't miss out on the lithium install with us. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit that little bell and therefore you'll be informed when this little project is underway. Even if Taj is in the way, <laughs> then the project will be underway. 
Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> Peace.